Chug, 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 chug. We couldn't catch any trout, so let's try the river. We couldn't catch trout, so we're going to go to the river. Yeah, don't <laughs> drop my fish this time. Don't be this camera. big. <laughs> you dropped my fish last time. You should have reeled it in. We uh, fishing upriver or down? I was going to go up there. You had a fish. Yeah, why don't I have a rod like this? That actually passed. Mine goes two feet. Uh, oh! One. Oh my gosh, that's big! Yeah, that's it's good. recording. Yeah. I can't see anything. Yeah. Else. Yeah! Oh, wait, let me see. That's a nice glass. It has a red on it. Yeah. It's red. That's a good one, Chris. <laughs> we might win with that one. <laughs> wow. They're strong fish. They? It's I'm going to fall over. Look at it. Something there for you. I just happened to turn my head and I just see his rod go. <laughs> There's pliers. Uh, Look at him. I would say he's 13 inches. Just about. Almost. Yeah. 13. 13. 13. Bye. <laughs> well, he was a slippery little sucker. Good going. Huh? He yeah. fell right out of his hand. Woo! <laughs> what the heck? 
Oh, it's a dock. Whoa, what is that? There's the Hiawatha. Oh, he's just a widow one. He's a widow, <laughs> a widow peanut. Oh, but look at him. He's a happy. <laughs> he's the least. He's a happy guy. Happy, Ow. happy, 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 happy. These guy. things are sharp. I'm not good at this. I've got one. <laughs> what the heck? I have a camera. Here, you grab it. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> okay, enough of that little baby. Woo! He's a big one. Look at that one, buddy. Whoa! That's a good one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> good job, yeah. Good job. <laughs> Ooh, look at his eye. It's all red. The red eyes, yeah. yeah. Those small mouth. Good job. I don't think he's as big as yours, is he? Yeah, maybe. Pretty close. I'll tell you what, he's 12 and a half inches. Mm -hmm. That was close. Give me the fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't even have that in the water for 10 seconds. And he hit. Good job. Nice. I got two fishing. me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie! Did you get a big one? Sure did. You got a crisp fish. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm like, I think you're taking it, taking that off. And <laughs> Good thing is, is I got it on camera. <laughs> you got a shirt! <laughs> Congratulations. I for, for being a fifth dog. <laughs> Mind your surroundings. Kim Kim got three, that last one. And you got two, so we got five so yep. far. I think they're, they're going total, too. 
beautiful rose. Look at what I got. <laughs> need to go up there, we got them all. We got them all up there. You're wasting your time up there. It would be funny if you caught one right now. Why there? Did he lose it? Well, it Grab it and it's put your hands in its mouth and hold it. Like put your hand. Why? Let's see you hold it. It has little teeth, but they don't hurt. They just feel weird. It's like sandpaper. So what do I do? Just put your hand in its mouth, thumb? hold it tight, yeah, and lift Ew. it up. It feels weird, but it. Ew. Just. It's gonna like. Chomp He's not gonna do it. He don't know that. Watch your hooks is all. Yeah. Grabbing a grill. Just watch the hooks. I'm gonna take you out to the hospital. Be good. Well, I why don't I hold these and you do it? It's hard. Oh, that's a beaut. Jeez. That one's so cool. That's gonna take the day today. Yeah. All right, don't spill out of water. Don't get it killed. <laughs> Holy! That's 16. Can 80, you open the thing? A thing. Oh, the fishing rod. Good oh. job, honey. <laughs> Thanks. That's 18. That's 18. <laughs> 19. Uh, 18. That's great. That's a nice one, dear. Jeez. <laughs> All right, we need the pliers. <laughs> Oh, that's the biggest one. Just take your time. Reel down real easy. That's a good one. Oh, damn, that's a good fish. Just take your time. She's going to run here a little bit. Oh, he's down there. Yeah, Just he's a big end. Just slide him over here. Slide him right over here. <laughs> there, boys, beat that. That, that <laughs> one's got to be. That's going to that's gonna take the money. That's going to take the money. Take the money and run. Woo! That fish is at least 15 inches if he's an inch. Yep. 15, 15. inches. Nice fish. Hold your fish up. That's a yeah, good one. Yeah, have Daddy take a picture, bud. Good job, Cam. That's a beautiful fish. Well, you don't like this boat, does it? 
good job. <laughs> you fisherman, you. Got another one. Okay, then we are up to at least ten. Woo! Fishy, fishy, fishy! <laughs> well, you fish all <laughs> good. You got Open another one. Tell you what, I think that fish is, he's all 14, close to 15, I bet. Got another one, beast. Holy oh, cow. Good lord. Let's see this thing. Oh yeah. my gosh. 14, 14 and a half. And a half. Yep. Good job. Grab him right by the bottom left, bottom left. Grab him good. Yeah. Got it? I think. <laughs> I can't see Nice fish. That's a good fish here, 18 inches. That's, that's a good tank. What was it? 18 inches. <laughs> yeah, what? I guess a bass. Alright, we're, we're working our way up, so. Alright. Yep, same to you. Yep. Right. They got 11. And so do we. <laughs> At 18 inches, we're going to have to go find a picker or someplace. We're going to have to get 19. Yeah. 18 we'll inch smallmouth, that's, that's hard to beat. But we can get a 20 inch pickerel or a 20 inch channel cat. Or we can get an 18 and a quarter inch in that glass. I'll bring him over to you. There you go. Uh -huh. I think that's 18 inches, though. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what was that? 12, 13, this is 14, right? Yes. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. She's getting a little excited. You got a lot. He said to blink it. I felt like you rip its lip. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I got one. Good. 
Good job. <laughs> Rock bass. Oh, it's cool. Cam moved all of them over to the last of the water. <laughs> there was over there, like a pocket of it, and then I guess just now it all dried up. And now there's a little hole of like thousands of dead catfish. Well, I'm supposed to get some rain this afternoon. I'm gonna get uh, soil samples out of the last two plots. So we got soil samples on all the plots that we're planting this year out. <clears throat> I just want to check the clover plots. So we're going to get a soil sample out of stump and go over to ghost. Ghost is into its four and a half. Yeah, it's been four and a half years. That's been in the ground. This is its second full year in stump. So just want to continue to maintain the soil, figure out what uh, lime we need to put on both plots and got some fertilizer to spread today, hopefully before the rain, so we're going to get to it. And it doesn't matter where I put this shovel, it will hit a rock within two inches. refunding my deposit because I called for uber premium service and I still had to carry this soil sample to my location huh to start there's battery dead So here you've been sitting the whole time? Oh well, yeah, you just said get the key. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I figured it was a dead battery. That's why I didn't see it come out yet. I didn't know you did.
on the mat. I told you it was going to go quick. Sending him back to camp to get the shoulder bag because <laughs> we got to get a new broadcaster. Thrusted through. We've got tin, duct tape, plastic, everything trying to keep it tight on the bottom, but that, that fertilizer just blows right through the bottom. So I'm gonna broadcast it by hand. Get this tree out of here right now. It's a pretty good progress so far today. It is the weekend before Memorial Day, so wanted to make sure we were ready for next weekend. Got the grass cut, Cam's got around camp, and the orchard cut. We got the last two food plots of soil samples I wanted to get, so that's done. We got the 02020 fertilizer spread on both clover plots. I wanted to get that done. And it's about time to plant our destination fields. We're gonna do corn on the opposite side this year and rotate soybeans back into D1 that we had the corn in this past year. So, I mean, bush hogged it down and it's disking up pretty good. I got the front gangs we replaced all that hardware, so I got the front gangs tightened down. The rear gang, pretty good at growing rocks here. Uh, the rear gang, I'll show you. We didn't think this one the whole way through when we had it welded. So, Right here's where it broke. And when we had it welded, we figured, well, if we put a bead just on that, that's still a, a weak point. 
So we had the brackets put on. The only thing we weren't realizing was we had the trays off. So in order to seat the tray, we gotta get rid of the bracket. Because the bracket is not gonna let us put that tray back on. I set the other concrete block in here. The third one is out back. And I'm just, I'm not gonna go out there to grab it because kind of offset the weight anyway on these two rear gangs. But I mean, this is disking up good. I was a little worried that the uh, corn stalks would end up binding everything up, but. They'll break down, give us some biomass. So this year, this this is D1. This will be soybeans this year. And then we're gonna come back in over top of the beans when they start to just start yellowing and broadcast uh, cereal grain on this side. The corn will be over on the other side. That's D2 over there. So the corn will go in, and then the same thing, we're gonna broadcast on top of it cereal grain. So we've got a cover crop and more biomass going into spring for next year's planting. Ghosts and stump are still good. We've got clover in those. Dreams this year is gonna be Whitetail Institute Edge, but we're planting that towards fall, so that'll be a uh, a nurse crop of whitetail oats with that as well, and then come back over the top of it in the spring, late winter, early spring, and top dress it. So let's get to it.